What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming, where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you another Exos Heroes video. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the quarter verse for the second queen, Emma. So she is a black fate core, and as always, we'll go through all her abilities, then we can go through PvP and PvE stuff and see where she lands, at least in my opinion. Now, it's been a while since I actually have done an Exos Heroes video because um, on this channel, the City of Opera Omnia is sort of like my main game. And, you know, because I've been on Night Shift, I haven't really had the chance to actually just, you know, just go through a video for Exos Heroes. So, uh, I I'm still debating whether I should do like a FC Aiden video, but it seems like a lot of people already has done it, so... Yeah, I'm, I might think about it, but um, long story short, for FC Aiden, you, I, I would only go for him if you're actually using a lot of the Greenland heroes. So, yeah, and you need multiple copies of him. So, that's it. So, with that out of the way, let's take a look at uh, the changes for Emma. Uh, let's take a look at her passive. So, she still has Cleanse, cleanse 3, so as you guys might have noticed, um, we're not exactly in game so actually let's make this a little bit bigger there we go um yeah so this is off the line games um, website so let's take a look at what else she's got dragon blessing dark dragon knight blessing which is what she's got and head dragon knight it's um she's actually good at like in the dragon the holy dragon ground so that's why a lot of people would bring her previously on dark days dark and light days so yeah so here we are with the first change called nobility this is going to be debuff which decreases the defense of the attacking enemy by 20 percent of the caster's maximum health for seven turns if the caster survives an attack it can stack up to four times um this sort of reminds me of fc iris kind of thing right where she but she removes the barrier and applies the defense down so this is actually not a bad debuff uh i mean she doesn't uh, from memory she doesn't have a lot of hp but you can obviously awaken her with like fire um fire element and give her a ton of hp that way uh so that would be like let's just say you hit the 10k mark which is kind of normal right now um, 20% of that is what 2,000 so minus 2,000 defense is actually not a bad deal um, And you can stack it as well to four up to four times So that is pretty impressive. I think um, The next one she gets is past recollection basically. This is going to be a mark uh, And it will decrease the defense of all enemies by 30% of the caster's maximum health for 10 turns when the caster dies Okay, so she's sort of like a big debuffer when she gets hit. I'm intrigued with how she works. And let's take a look what else has changed. It looks like there's nothing else has changed. So basically she gets the Touch of Dust, which is like a 3 mana, 525 damage on one target. And then Soul Capture, another single target with 375%. And this time, uh, it uh, decreases the attack of the target, I can't read, by 50% of her own attack for 9 turns. So nothing has changed with her skill. But the passives are very intriguing. Okay, so, right. Let's talk about PvP. Um... Let me gather my thoughts here. Offensively, let's take a look offensively. There's definitely a space for her. She's sort of like... She's not as good as FC Iris. Let's get that out of, out of the way first. The main reason for that is... FC Iris removes the barrier from Dragon Blood characters, which... For all intents and purposes, we are going to be fighting all the time in PvP. But in saying that, 
for a Team 2 or Team 3, this she's not so bad. I wouldn't write her off, to be honest with you guys. Um, do, do they actually say which nationality is she from? St. Wes. Where is that? Is that Lenum? Or is this... I think that's Lenum, right? I could be wrong, but... Um... I'm just thinking who... Who is the signature force for her is, so... If... I guess it doesn't matter who her signature force is, if you do have it. But, I, I'm very intrigued, like... I would really... Put her in the Team 2 category. Team 2, Team 3. FC Iris is obviously going to be your main team. But you can actually maybe run both of them at the same time during single single week. Um, uh, if there's only like, you know, just a single PvP. Uh, you can probably run both of them and basically destroy the enemy with like you know the damage um and saying that so i i guess offensively because the, the passive is so passive it's definitely going to help uh, like i said i still pref would prefer fc iris because she de de destroys the barrier but she's the next best thing i think uh, defensive wise it, I think it's pretty identical because there's really not much you can do defensively, like offensively, like any different from what you're going to do defensively. So like to me, the three mana 525 damage is okay. Um, yeah, uh, defensively, I think it's not a bad character to put defensively because the passive is so like so passive like there's no you know uh you don't have to run around it right like it, she gets hit you get debuff straight to the point you can stack up to four times which i don't think it's gonna it's gonna stack up to four times in the end uh i don't know if it damage over time counts as uh surviving an attack from that particular enemy so let's say you, you get poisoned by Janai, she gets poisoned by Janai, and the poison ticks. Does that count as another damage from Janai? And would she, again, add another debuff on Janai and stack it up? You know, uh, things like that. So, uh, I, I would be interested to see how that works. But to me, PvP-wise, I think she's a pretty good PvP character after this um court re core reversal the okay so i think that's all i can really think of in terms of pvp because there's really not much change to her skills it's more just like an added bonus to her passives so pve wise i think she's <laughs> she's just she's just great straight up great um because of the Dragon Knight blessing and Head Dragon Knight in Holy Dragon Grounds, she's gonna be great. And now with this nobility and pass recollection, she's gonna be even better in the Holy Dragon Grounds. In other PvE content, I think it's still worth having her. The only problem with PvE right now is a lot of the bosses are actually immune to status effects. So, um,. There's sometimes they're, they have mark immunity, so it's like these these abilities are kind of useless at some point uh, during the fight, and it's really more in the PvP department. So honestly, PvE is so stale right now in Exos Heroes. Infinity Core is just plain up boring, man. Uh, I don't know. The, the, you don't even need to participate. You don't even have to aim for like the higher ranks because all the rewards are pretty much the same. Uh, 200 zest, I believe. Unless uh, you're, you get something else, you can correct me down in the comments below. But as far as I'm aware, it's like 200 zest for any rank. So all I do is just run a few times and then 
I'm pretty much good for the rest of the week. <laughs> um, there's really no other PvE content. I guess if you're still struggling with the um, the quick battles, which I'm not na right now personally, I I can quick battle all the uh, all the days now. Um, you, you can still definitely use her. I mean, when, even when she dies, I mean, it's a very good um, uh, defense down. The other thing is you can pair her up with someone who increases defense. And, you know, that would increase the amount, uh, sorry, like uh, someone who has like maximum HP up buff, like, uh, who, who does that? Uh, Degas? Does Degas do, do that? I can't remember on top of my head. Someone who increased maximum HP, like Bathory, uh, FC Bathory does that. She increased maximum health, so that means like you will decrease defense a little bit more. So things like that, uh, I think, is a good combination for her. Uh, other than that, I think that's all I can really say about uh, FC Emma. So, yeah, I think that's we'll end the video right here, guys. Um, I guess my overall, th I I already said my overall thoughts, but she's gonna be really decent in PvP. Uh, not FC Iris level, but definitely up there in terms of debuffs and PvE, she's gonna be a solid one as well. So, in terms of is she worth your zest? I think she is. I think because of this passive that reduces defense depending on her max HP, I think it's well worth your zest actually investing on her. If you don't have FC Iris already, if you're pretty solid with your team composition, uh, you can definitely pass on this. But if you do want another debuffer that sort of reduces defense, which I, in my opinion is one of the best debuffs in the game, I, I think it's worth pulling for her and using some of your zest on her. Now you don't have to remember that she's only a black fate core as well. so. In terms of her value uh, versus a gold fate core that requires like 28 multi pulls for a guarantee, you only need 19 pulls for this guarantee. So I think it, it's worth having sort of near, not FC Iris level, but nearly there, um, a, a character and you know, invest on that character. I personally would probably pull on her. Uh, I have pulled like 10 times on FC Aiden and I just didn't get him. So I might stop there because personally I'm not a big fan on FC like Blue Fate cores but the only reason why I wanted FC Aiden is if I got him early I felt like I would have gone a little bit further because I use a lot of the Greenland heroes. So like Rira and um, Bathory, so those kinds of heroes uh, I use quite o quite often, and I thought like maybe a blue fake core would be nice. So um, yeah, I think uh, she's gonna be worth investing your zest, not for your main team, but if you are looking into like tag team and you want a second team that is solid and have a someone that can lower. The enemy's defense especially now you know there's a lot of aoe's going on you know if she can survive that she can stack and even if she dies she will drop their defense for like 10 turns so i think it's well worth having her yeah let's end the video please remember to click like and subscribe if you haven't already it does help the channel i really do appreciate all you guys that support me um can't really thank you enough Make sure to follow me on Twitter and on Facebook as well at Munchkins Gaming. Leave down in the comments below what you think of FC Emma's core reversal. Are you going to pull for her? Let me know down in the comments below. This is Munchkins logging off. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next level.